Hello everyone, I am Rama. In this video, I am going to explain you Newton's bivariate interpolation for equally spaced points. Bivariate interpolation is nothing but we have to interpolate a two variable function at some point. For which, suppose that we have z values at set of x, y values and we are taking them as z i, j at a point x i, y j where i is taking values from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and j is taking values from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. That means we will have x values as x0, x1, x2 and so on and y values as y0, y1, y2 and so on. So a t, uh, set of x, comma y values in the sense. Let us just place x values horizontally and y values vertically y0, y1, y2, y3 and so on. Now, at each set x, y, our z values will be given to us. So, at the point x0, y0, z value will be denoted by z0, 0, 0 and at the point x1, y0, the z value is denoted by z1, 0. Similarly, at x2, y0, z value is z2, 0 and so on. Similarly, at x, y, the z value is z0, 1 and x1, y1, z11 at x2, y1, it is z21 and so on. And at the next point, z values are given as z0, 2 and at x1, y2, z1, 2, x2, y2, z value is z22 and so on. These are known values and our task is to find z value at some x comma y our z is to be determined it is set x comma y for which we are going to use taylor's series expansion of a two variable function at the point x not y not let us see that series expansion the Taylor's expansion about x0, y0 is always f of x, y equal to f of x0, y0 plus x minus x0 by h delta x f of x0, y0 plus y minus y0 by k delta y f of x0, y0 plus 1 by 2 factorial x minus x0, x minus x1 by h square delta x, x f of x0, y0 plus 2 times of x minus x0, y minus y0 by h k delta x, y f of x0, y0 plus y minus y naught y minus y1 by k square delta y y f of x naught y naught here h is the difference between successive x values that means x values are equally spaced with space h similarly our k is the difference between y successive y values So in this uh, uh, series expansion, we have to write delta x f of x0, y0, delta y f of x0, y0, delta x, x f of x0, y0, delta x, y f of x0, y0, delta y, y f of x0, y0. So we can directly remember the formula for these differences, otherwise we can write them using the forward difference definition so we all know that by forward differences we all know delta f of x for the single variable function it is written as f of x plus h minus f of x and now instead of single variable function we have a two variable function and then we are showing that delta x f of x comma y that means uh, there is a change in x and y is kept as constant so that uh, using this definition we need to write it as f of x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y similarly delta y f of x comma y can be written as uh, so here the difference is with respect to y so x can be kept as constant using the definition we can write it as f of x comma y plus k minus f of x comma y and then we write delta xx f of x comma y as delta x of delta x f of x comma y 
All, we already have this delta x f of x comma y so we write it as f of x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y let us apply this forward difference operator onto the two functions so that it becomes delta x f of f, uh, x plus h comma y minus delta x f of x comma y that means there is here for this function there is a change in x so we must take it as according to our definition f of x plus 2 h comma y minus f of x plus h comma y and let us apply the same for this so that it is minus of f of x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y let us simplify this it is f of x plus 2 h comma y and minus f of x plus h comma y minus f of x plus h comma y so it is minus 2 times of f of x plus h comma y and this is minus of minus plus f of x comma y this is our delta xx f of x comma y so here there is a change with respect to x for 2 times so y is kept as constant and next values are taken as x x plus h x plus 2 h the same we can apply for delta y y of f of x comma y then we we need to keep x constant and the uh, changes with respect to y so we can see that this can be obtained as f of x comma y plus 2k minus 2 f of x comma y plus k plus f of x comma y now we need to write delta x y f of x comma y this can be written as delta x of delta y f of x comma y let us apply forward difference for this function there is a change with respect to y so x, x is to be kept as constant so we should write it as f of x comma y plus k minus f of x comma y let us apply this operator onto the two functions so it is delta x f of x comma y plus k minus delta x f of x comma y now let us use forward difference operator definition then delta x in the sense there is a change in x y is to be kept as constant that means y plus k is as it is and there is a change for x x and then x plus h to be taken so we need to write it as f of x plus h comma y plus k minus f of x comma y plus k now let us apply the definition for this then it is a minus of here also change in x y is to be kept as constant so it should be f of x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y so this is equals to f of x plus h comma y plus k minus f of x y plus k minus f of x uh, x plus h comma y minus of minus plus f of x comma y so using these definitions we can know all the differences at the point x not y not that means in all these uh, x comma y to be replaced by x not y not so we get all the required differences we just use the known data in taylor's series expansion and if we simplify that we get an expression which is in terms of x comma y So always we take the starting values of x comma y as x naught y naught and using that point 
we take Taylor series expansion and then we find all the differences delta x delta y delta x x delta y y and delta x y after finding all these differences we again substitute them in our Taylor's expansion and we simplify this to get an expression that is in terms of x comma y here we are uh, vomiting many terms in the expansion so f of x comma y is approximated up to a second degree terms So that we say z, z equal to f of x comma y can be approximated by a second degree bivariate polynomial.